Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. We already know how to represent data in Python using some building types. But what if we want to do different things depending on the value stored in the variable? For example, if we want to display different message depending on the person's name or using the language the person is speaking. So what I want to show you today is how to compare things. Okay, so let's open console and try some basic comparisons. The first thing that comes to mind is obviously comparing numbers. Let's type 5 is greater than 2 and press enter. It's true. Now let's try 3 lower than 1. This is false. What about something more complicated then? Like 5 is greater than 2 multiple 2. This is true. The values we are getting here when we compare things in Python are called booleans and they could be either true or false. If you studied anything connected to logic, I think it should ring a bell. And please note that in Python, when we write true or false, we always start with a capital letter and the rest is lowercase. So only these forms, or true or false, are correct. And anything else, like true lowercase or having capital case somewhere in between or all capital cases, is incorrect. Okay, let's experiment a little bit more. What if we want to check if things are equal to each other? Like 1 equals 1. Okay, that's true. If you wonder why we use here a double equal sign instead of single one, this is because we already used the single equal sign to something else, assigning variables. If you watched my previous video about Python basics, you know that we use the single equal sign to assign things to variables. And because it has so important meaning in Python already, we cannot use that for comparing things too. That's why when we want to compare if two things are equal to each other, we cannot use the single equal sign. And Python use double equal sign instead. And please note that you cannot put space in between two equal signs. Let's try what would happen if we try that. We're getting syntax error, so it is not something Python understands. Okay, so what is still missing is checking that two values are not equal to each other. And we do that with exclamation mark and equal sign. So we do that like this, five not equals two. Okay, what if we want to check if one side is greater and equal or lower and equal than other side? To do that, we simply use lower or greater sign followed with equal sign like this 3 is lower or equal to or 6 is greater or equal 6 so to sum up when we compare numbers we can use one of the following signs we can use greater sign lower sign greater or equal sign lower or equal sign equal sign which is a double equal sign in python or not equal, which is exclamation mark and equal sign. If you know a little bit about Boolean algebra or logic, you are probably familiar with Boolean operations. What's that? If you think about numbers, you could do a number of operations like adding two numbers, subtracting, multiplying and so forth. Well, we have something similar for Boolean values. We have operation we can use. And these operations are and, or, and not. For the first operation, and, both left-hand side and right-hand side of the operation needs to be true to the whole sentence to be true. Okay, let's have an example. Let's think about it as about sets. Let's say we have a group of people, some of them speak English, some Polish. And there is also a group of people speaking English and Polish. If you would like to know who is speaking both English and Polish, we would use AND operator. So if we take Alice and we will check, does the person speak English? Yes. And if the person speaks Polish, that is also true. 
so the result of this operation is true. Alice speaks both English and Polish. But if we choose Bob and check if Bob speaks English, yes, and if Bob speaks Polish, no, the end result is false. Bob is not speaking both English and Polish. Ok, what with OR operator then? You probably suspect the answer. We use OR to check if one of the values is true. For example, we would like to know if the person either speaks English or Polish. In this scenario for both Alice and Bob, this is true. It is also true to Maria, who speaks only Polish. Finally, we have NOT operator. For example, we can use that to check if Alice does not speak Polish. This is not true for Alice, but it is true for Bob. Ok, time to see that in action in Python. Let's type true and false. This is obviously false. True or false? It's true. And not true is false. In Python, Boolean operations are typed lowercase. Any other variation of lower and uppercase will basically result in name error, like this. So far we compared only numbers with each other and Booleans, true and false values. What if we want to compare, for example, text with number? Let's try it. Let's compare 1 with text Django. We get a type error telling us that Python cannot compare text with numbers. In general, the rule of the thumb is that Python cannot compare things with a different type. However, there are some exceptions. For example, if we compare one integer with one float, this is true. Basically, Python is pretty logical here. If that makes sense to compare two values, for example, two numbers but one integer and float, it does that. But if there is absolutely no sense, like comparing number with the some random text, then it rises error. Ok, let's practice a little bit more. We could use variables when comparing things. Let's assign true to variable a, like this, a is true. Or let's assign a result of comparison to the variable, like this, a assign 2 is greater than 5, and now a is false. Comparing things and booleans are one of the most important things in programming. So congratulations, you just learned about them. If it's still not super clear, make sure to practice a little bit on your own. For example, you could try one of these lines here, true and true, false and true, false or one, true or one equals one, or one is not equal to, and true and true and false. This is quite a bit of knowledge. Today we learned that there is something like true and false in Python. It follows Boolean algebra and we use that to compare things. In my next video I will show you how to use comparisons to do certain things only when the condition is met. We will also learn how to create a Python script and rerun it without need to type every single time the very same thing in Python interpreter. So if you want to learn more about programming and don't miss any of my further videos, make sure to subscribe my channel and stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you!